This video explains how to receive a cold chain shipment updated as part of the 2016 OCA cold chain protocol. The first step is that the supply log prepares a reception control sheet. We have the packing list and weigh bill that came with the cargo. Looking at the how to guide, we start at the top left hand corner with the supply log. The reception control sheet is handed over to the storekeeper. The next step the storekeeper needs to do is to check the cold chain store equipment. It should have a thermometer, an activated 3M card, and each window on the 3M card should be white. A freeze tag showing a tick mark not an X, and a lock tag set with limits of 2 and 8 degrees. This should be flashing green. A tiny tag can also be used if you have these in your project, but please replace each tiny tag with a lock tag when the batteries are low. The next step is checking the shipment. We open the box and check the monitoring devices, freeze tag, 3M card and lock tag. Here we see the indication of a freeze tag that shows the cargo was affected by low temperature. We check the 3M card and inform the cold chain responsible and check the decision making guide if there is a problem with either monitoring device. If there was no temperature breach found, we follow the arrow marked NO. Update the orange cold chain marking label and update the stock card. There are some instructions written on the right hand side to guide you during unpacking of the cargo. Then, if the monitoring devices in the cargo show there was a temperature breach, we quarantine the items that were in the box. Take out the lock tag and report the problem to the supply log. Check the decision making guide for guidance on what to do and mark up the affected boxes if necessary. Also update the orange cold chain marking label, filling this info the stock card as well. Return the documentation to the supply log and file the updated stock cards.